We explain the 1917 World Series. The 1917 series would see the return of John McGraw's Giants, for the first time without Christy Matheson, who was managing in Cincinnati. It would be the Giants' fifth appearance. The Chicago White Sox would make it into their second appearance with a power roster composed of players like Shoeless Joe Jackson, Chick Gandel, Hap Felch, Eddie Collins, Swede Risberg, Buck Weaver, Lefty Williams, and Eddie Seacott. The series was noted for being played while the U.S. was entering World War I. The White Sox came in having completed their only 100-game winning season. The Giants were looking to make up for their series losses earlier in the decade. The games went back and forth in victories, but the White Sox pitching saw Seacott end up pitching 23 innings with a 1.96 ERA and Red Faber winning three. Most sources point to the memorable game being the deciding game six. The White Sox led the series 3-2 when they entered the polo grounds, having been led by Eddie Collins' bat. He batted a 409 that series. Two crucial giant errors in the game would give the Sox the championship. Collins would get on base when Heine Zimmerman overthrew to first off a routine ground ball. Next, Dave Robertson dropped a shoeless Joe pop fly, putting him on base. With runners at first and third, Hap Felch grounded to the mound and Collins took off for home. With Collins heading home, catcher Bill Raritan left the plate to get him in a rundown. However, neither the pitcher nor the first baseman came to cover home plate. Zimmerman chased Collins as he broke past Raritan and then leaped over him at home, no tag. Questions and accusations would arise over gambler influence in the series, especially pointed at Zimmerman. The White Sox would win their last series until 2005 as 1919 would play an infamous role in their club. Zimmerman would eventually be banned for life by Judge Landis for fixing games in later seasons. Hall of Famers would include McGraw, Collins, Faber, and Ray Schalk. Noteworthy was the play of Giants Robertson who batted 500 for the series. Also, Jim Thorpe would make a brief appearance in the outfield.